Hello, this week we're water life in West Drayton where we're sussing out the shark clock. Sharks, shark lark. Well, today we have two. If you'd asked the same question yesterday morning, I would have said three. Why's that? But unfortunately, uh, our cat shark uh, was devoured uh, by our lemon shark. So <laughs> we're now down to two sharks. Well, is that something that happens a lot? Uh, no, fortunately not very often. We have 12 sharks last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a fairly stable environment. Doesn't uh, doesn't happen. Right. What kind of sharks are they? Well, we have a, a lemon shark, a nurse shark. They're both from tropical uh, marine waters, both from Miami. And they both aquarium uh, for, for most of the life of the aquarium, which is about 12 years now. Mm -hmm. They're brought um, in as babies. Do you not think that they might be a little bit happier if they were in the sea? No, I don't think so. They have a perfect environment here. We look after them extremely well. Uh, we cater for them. Uh, and they're not uh, prey to, to any other sharks. So they almost certainly uh, live to uh, a very ripe old age. Which is, can be up to, what, 40 Typically years Typically 30 or 40 years, yes. Right. yes. Are they quite popular with the public? Extremely popular. Uh, we, we have a lot of visitors to our aquarium. On a Sunday afternoon, we would have perhaps 200 people in there looking at the shark feeding. Davis, you're the assistant manager. That's correct, yes. Part of your job is to feed the fish. That's right, yeah. Just take us through what you actually do. You kneel down on this bit of plastic and... Yeah, I have to chop up the fish too. Otherwise, they're you know, too large for the sharks to take in in one go. Right. What well, sort they of fish are they? Fish you don't want anymore? Oh, no, they're whiting. We buy them in. We buy right. them in in large quantities from a fish market and they're already gutted, etc. They've got the heads and tails on. Uh -huh. The sharks still eat them. It worse to be chopped up. Then. No, they don't. As long as they get food, they don't care what it is, really. But, uh, it's all chopped up and then it's put in, or chucked in from a distance, keep, right. keep your they hands out of the water. They jump out and, and like, Not really. Them. No, they come up very near the surface, but they don't actually jump out. Right. Not yet, anyway. Right. So it looks quite precarious where you're kneeling there. I mean, mm. do you ever feel vulnerable? Not really, no. no. feel totally safe. You've never almost fallen in? Not yet, no. Right. And what would happen if you did fall in? Would you get out again? Yeah, very quick. <laughs> <laughs> Are they, are they like goldfish? Do they forget where they've just been? Yeah. Are they constantly exploring? Not really. I mean, they know their tank is their sort of like territory. Or in yeah. the, out in the wild, the sharks mark out their own territories. Although they travel large distances, they've already usually got a territorial area. But uh, no, they're quite happy in there. Richard Cox, you're the livestock manager here. Mm -hmm. Come on, in. how often do you change the water? Well, at least twice a year when it's at its hottest, say from May uh, up to about September. Right. You've got quite a lot of water in there, haven't you? Yeah, 40,000 gallons. Oh, just 40,000 mm. gallons? Just. <laughs> and that must take a fair while to change then, does it? No, it doesn't actually. Um, well, we only change about 10, 20% each time. Right. And that takes about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to drain down. It's the topping up process and uh, adding new salt, which takes the, uh, the time. Your father started this place. How did that all come about? Well, initially, uh, the building started in 1980, and it was completed in, uh, I think, uh, 1981, uh, January of, and uh, it's been going ever since. But the, why? But why? Well, he had a dream when he was teaching out in northern Rhodesia, which is now Zambia. Um, when he was out there, he used to uh, travel hundreds of miles to the coast, and uh, the site that he saw out there just uh, completely captivated him, and he wanted to reproduce it when he was able, and uh, he has. There's something very fishy going on around here. If you fancy having a whale of a time, why not try having a lark with a shark? This is Tony O'Rourke for WMTV at Waterlife in West Drayton.